Hello all and welcome to math to go Today we are looking into kernels of linear maps. We are going to give the definition, give some explanations, and we will also look into one example where we actually define and calculate the kernel of this linear map, of this example. So given, given a linear map, f from y to w and you can usually th think of the real numbers squared or cubed when you are th seeing this vector spaces v and w but to be general here we are working with v and w so given a linear map f from v to w the kernel of f is And we write kern f as a set of all vectors v from the vector space v where or such that f of v is zero or the zero vector actually because zero is an element from the vector space w so we have uh, all coordinates equals to zero and this always exists because w is a vector space and this means we already always have a zero vector later on we will also see that this set is never empty so there's always at least one vector such that this is uh, fulfilled so the kernel is never empty and as we have previously seen you can always relate a matrix from any given linear map so for example, if you are given the linear map f from r squared to r squared, where x and y are being sent to x plus y and x plus y, we can identify the matrix, let's call it fa, and this is then 1, 1, 1, 1. So you can try it out yourself, multiply a vector with this matrix and then you're getting exactly this, uh, this map on the left hand side. So for any given linear map we can identify a matrix where the matrix is describing the linear map. Or actually it's just another form to write down this linear map. So let's take this example actually and calculate the kernel. Just before we do this, kernel of A can also be then written as the vectors x, y from the vector space V. So this is an element from, from V such that A times x and y equals the zero vector. So this is nothing like a linear equation um, with zeros on the right hand side. So let's try to calculate the kernel of A now. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1. And then again, as explained previously, we need to bring this into an upper triangular form where everything on the bottom side is 0. The numbers on the top side can be anything, can be 0, 1s, and any other number actually. So we need, just need to subtract the first row from the second row. They are both identical, as you can see. And then we are getting 1 and 1. We don't need to change anything here. And here we have 0 and 0. This is an upper triangular form. Now, so we are already done. And we can read out um, the solution from the rows. So we are always starting with the, with the last row. <coughs> So we are always starting with the last row and we are always starting with the last row and it's always useful to think of x and y here and the zeros because we are interested into x and y such that the map, the matrix is mapping them to zero. So it's useful to think of this here. 
and then you can read out the solution actually. So we have zero times y equals zero. And this means zero And this means y can be any real number. And the first row reads x plus so y equals 0. And we would like to have x as something dependent from y. So we can reformulate to x equals minus y. And y was any real number. So if we have y as any real number, x must be the negative of it. This is what is written here now. So we have a dependency between x and y. And now we can write down the kernel. The kernel of a now is any vector xy from the real numbers squared, where x equals minus y. We can even write this down in a more compact way. We have then x and minus x, where x is a real number. And we can even write it a bit differently. We can have it as the vector 1 minus 1 times some number t where t is from the real numbers. So there are really different ways on how to write down the kernel. And if we have the last form, where we have a vector even, and considering all the scalars of these vectors, then we can even write this down as the linear combination, usually written as lin, of this vector. 1 minus 1. This just means all the linear combinations of the vectors inside. In this case, you just have this one vector, so it's all the scalar multiplications of this vector with some real number, with any real number. So, we have seen what the kernel is, how to use uh, matrices out from linear maps, and how to use and work with the matrices in order to get the kernel of the matrix. And there are different forms on how to write down the kernel, as you have seen here. And usually the last one is the most useful one. I hope this video was really useful to you. In the future, we will provide you with more videos regarding linear algebra. If this is interesting to you, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment, like the video and see you next time.